Jeremiah. Hey, Jeremiah. How are you? I'm doing well. Are you? Doing good. Um, how are you, Justin? Just what are your early takeaways? Um, I'm adjusting pretty well to the um, atmosphere here. Um, I'm pretty blessed to be here because, you know, me and Coach Kiffin go way back. So just him giving me the opportunity to be here is grateful. How does what you're doing on the field here kind of compare to your, to your role at UCF, would you say? Um, it's kind of the same as, you know, I'm playing middle backer, so I'm kind of much in control of the defense, making sure everybody's playing fast and physical and getting everybody set. You talked about you and Kiffin going way back, which is with Pete Golden coming in, just kind of how's it been kind of adjusting to all that? Uh, with Coach Golden coming in, it's been a, a major blessing. Just him being uh, coming from Alabama and being here, being my coach, I'm very fortunate that um, obviously his background, he's coached some of the best linebackers. And me being coming here, I wanted to get some of the best coaching I could. And then I just happened to uh, catch, co co catch Coach Golden coming here, and that was perfect for me, perfect opportunity for me to seize it. Yeah, can you take us through your, your process in the transfer portal and how you made this one you know, the place you wanted to be? Uh, yeah, the transfer portal is very crazy, but you know, um, Coach Kevin was one of the first coaches to uh, reach out to me just because we went back from when he was at FAU. So he was actually, funny story, he was my first ever collegiate offering uh, coming out of high school. So me and Coach Kevin had that bond since day one. So it was pretty much a no brainer. And on top of that, coming out of high school, I took my last official visit here to Ole Miss. So it was kind of no brainer not to come finish what I was supposed to start here. Uh, just kind of, how valuable is it coming in the spring and A, just learning a new team and everything. But then on top of that, a, a coordinator who's installing a whole new defense on top of that. I mean, how valuable are these few, four weeks for you? Uh, I would say very viable. You know, spring is a very uh, time for you to be, a, it's a coachable moment for you to uh, get accustomed to the system and also learn the defense so you can play fast and physical in the fall. You know, me getting these 15 practices was a major for me. Like just, just learning the system and uh, seeing what Coach Golden thinks and how he uh, calls things, just being, being able to pick his brain is, which is good for me. I mean, for for someone who may be unfamiliar just with your style of play, would you um, what can they kind of expect from you, and you just what do you kind of strive for? You know, just on top of that. Uh, repeat your question again. I'm sorry. Just for those who may be unfamiliar, just with your style of play and the, and the way that you play, just kind of what would you describe yourself as? Uh, as fast, physical, or? and I'm I'm gonna hit you. Obviously, coming to Ole Miss. Uh, and the spring period's winding down after this Saturday. What, what are some specific things in your game you were looking to improve this spring, and, and did you accomplish that? Uh, some games I'm improving, I'm looking to improve is just more of a tackling in space and uh, being more dominant on the field. If I'm able to be dominant, consistent, I'll be able to take the team to another level for sure. Maybe kind of following up on you, working with Golding, him being with you kind of throughout the entire practice. What is it like watching kind of his his mind or just his coaching at, at work there? Oh, uh, man, uh, Coach Golding's a very smart guy, man. He he likes to make the offense react to us instead of us reacting to them. So that's one thing I can say for sure, us being able to play fast. One thing Kiffin and I talked about early on in spring was, you know, how the defense was behind the offense naturally just with a new, you know, new coordinator, some of the new coaches inside the ball, and even some new players at all. I mean, how has that adjustment been just as a defense as a whole, just trying to get up to defending that type of offense? Um, honestly, my message to the guys, because, you know, we all, all come in new, new coaches, new faces. So my message to the guys, was, um, all we have to do is just buy in and listen to our coaches. If we're able to do that, we're going to be able to play fast. We were discussing before you guys came in, Will Levis's bizarre eating habits. He puts mayonnaise in his coffee. Is there anything bizarre you put in your coffee? Uh, no, I don't really much drink coffee like that. <laughs> what about, do you ever eat in a banana hole with the peel and everything? Nah, nothing crazy. Just uh, peanut butter and banana, simple. If you saw someone doing that, a teammate, for example, would you sort of question? Yeah, I, I, would, I would ask like, what's the motive behind that? Because I've never seen it. So I'll just try to see what's his reason about it, behind it and why he does it. I appreciate your honesty. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys.